Ahoy hoy and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Samarian, not a real doctor. I was holding out on recording today. It's a little bit later than I'd like. Hopefully I can get the video out on time uh, because it's been raining all day. <laughs> we are going to do dank memes from dank ma dank teen. Uh, <laughs> let's open up the first one. SCP 6K con tree height in meters. Hyperion, the tallest non-fictional sequoia. SCP-6000, Nature's Stance, 300. I assume these are in meters. One would assume. Uh, 116 meters for Hyperion, 300 for Nature's Stance, 809 for All Creatures Great and Small, and then 9,200 for uh, the Demon Hector and the Dread Titania. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> these are very, very tall trees. That's There's no other way to put it. Um, like, the height of the trees in these SCPs are... This, this, well, maybe not for Nature Stance, but really for Nature Stance, too. It's It sort of stretches credulity. T-Class. When do I get to leave? The Foundation. That's the neat part. You don't. I mean, see, I, hmm, I don't know about this. I feel like the weird part is in the, the, the version of D-Class in my head is not even really reflected on the SCP Foundation Wiki, which in a sense is sort of my fault because I've written d -class, I very rarely write D-Class into my articles. And when I have, I haven't really delved too much into what, I mean, because you don't, uh, I haven't really done any tales on them either. Suppose if I wanted to make a D-Class that, you know, just works at the foundation, even though they maybe can't leave. Ugh, that's a whole thing. Because, I mean, there's there's a really good ex examination people should do on D-Class. I mean, oh god. Let's, let's not get into too much, um, uh, it's weird to think of this as politics, since it should just be normal human behavior, like, normal baseline being a person who isn't a, a, a shit heel, but <laughs> uh, slave labor exists in the United States right now in the form of prisoners. D class, no matter which way you want to cut it, are slaves, and I th really, really don't like that. Um, and it's something that I I don't generally apply in my version of the SCP Foundation. Uh, especially if they don't get to leave. Like, I, kn I know this is uh, basing itself around what the D-Class are and what's socially acceptable in talking about them, but when you think about it, this is a really good, really, really good uh, version of just exactly what D-Class being slaves is, and that's a whole can of beans. Also, funny meme. So why did you make that dangerous piece of an... And art. How are we cool yet, member? You know, I just want to be cool. Foundation, and how would endangering civilians with hostile art ever make you cool? How dare you question my methods? That is something that has always, always bothered me about Are We Cool Yet? Um, they just don't make much sense in that they're like, we're, you know, all about the art and all about, you know, just being cool. Also, here's this art piece that kills people. Art that kills people. <laughs> it's not good art. I feel like, I feel like that's a pretty good statement to make. Art that kills people isn't good art. It's just a good stance, you know? <laughs> Damn it, Bobby. What if I told you about putting redactions in the containment procedures? Uh, yeah, makes me angry. Makes me so angry. Wait, is King of the Hill on Adult Swim? All right, fair enough. Uh, I've also noticed in the bandy cam, um, watermark, but that's neither here nor there. Register your bandy cam. Come on. Uh, damn it, Bobby. Uh, King of the Hill. I liked King of the Hill, but when I was growing up, I would have much rather, like, the people who made King of the Hill, um, uh, uh stopped making Beavis and Butthead in order to make King of the Hill, uh, and I, I really would have preferred to have, I mean, as funny and as good as King of the Hill is, and it is pretty funny and pretty good, I still would have preferred to have more Beavis and Butthead, 
I think, if you have to choose. But redactions and containment procedures, I mean, obviously, that's dumb. Containment procedures are very important for, you know, keeping yourself and the anomaly and the world sometimes safe. So if you put in a redaction in there, uh, especially for, you know, say exact details like must be kept no further than black box meters away from something, something or the world ends. What is the use of that? That tells me nothing. You might as well have no containment procedures. They call me 007. Zero written articles, zero accounts, and seven ideas about SCPs that I'll probably never write. I feel you. I've just come into possession of a cure for anomalies. They come in capsule form. For best results, they must be taken internally. Here's the handy applicator. Yeah, the GOC's solution for anomalies is kind of... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, Simple and effective? Uh, if your only uh, goal is to stop anomalies from existing, uh, if your goal is to understand why they exist, that's a whole other matter. But the GOC is not about understanding. They're just about control. And in some cases, this is the best way to do that. Just ask uh, uh, mid 1940s Soviet Russia. Um, <laughs> normal people. Uh, normal pepple is what it says. I changed the light bulb. SCP authors. I have single-handedly managed the successful upgrade and deployment of new environmental illumination system with zero cost overruns and zero safety incidents. Yeah, we're guilty of that for sure. Average 001 gate guardian fan. Average the world's gone beautiful enjoyer. I guess people are trying to make a point. I've seen a couple of these now at this point that um, the world's gone beautiful is a lot of people's favorite 001. I'd say mine's still probably Kate McTierris's, uh, which is a pretty simple one, uh, which is just that whatever is put in the 001 slot becomes true, so someone uses it to become God, which I like. Um, Gate Guardian's kind of, I would say, probably one of my least favorites, actually. And The World's Gone Beautiful is, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've read it, but I'm not 100% sure because if I did read it, it was so forgettable. I don't, I mean, and I know what it's about, um, but the basic details of it, I just, I don't have a grasp on because I, and I'm pretty sure I did read it. It was just, for me, incredibly forgettable. So, you know. Wait, I'm confused. Who's the bad guy? It's complicated. It's not. Well, I guess it is complicated. So the SCP Foundation and the Serpent's Hand uh, are neither good nor bad guys. That's sort of the point. See, the <laughs> Serpent's Hand think they're the good guys. The Foundation think they're the good guys. That's fine. But out of universe, you should understand that neither are, strictly speaking, good or bad. Uh, <laughs> the Serpent's Hand's probably better than the Foundation, but they're not the good guys. They're just not. Anderson Robotics. <laughs> Prometheus. I feel like that should be the other way around. I don't actually feel like either of those are applicable. You could have two Spider-Mans looking at each other. You could have the Spider-Man pointing meme. Uh, Anderson Robotics, Prometheus Labs, and who would the other ones be? That's a problem. You only have the two. MC and D doesn't really work. Church of the Broken God doesn't quite work. SCP Foundation doesn't really work. Yeah, no, it's just the two. But I don't think of Prometheus Labs as the little brother of Anderson Robotics, which isn't exactly what this meme is portraying, but is a good interpretation of what it's portraying. The Scarlet King in the SCP Foundation. Is this the greatest power in the universe? The authors. Um... Oh, man, Loki. My dad, I, I, I posted a tweet about this. My dad was watching some clips of Loki on YouTube, and uh, he, he he poked his head in my room and was like, hey, did you know that that new show Loki is based on the SCP Foundation? And I was like, like, there's two, there, I'm, I'm of two minds when somebody says something like that. First of all, no, it's not. Uh, the ideas behind the SCP Foundation that it does share, and there's a lot that it does share with the TVA and Loki, um, exist across fiction before. You know, they, they're 
they're common tropes. They're not that they don't have to be based on each other to be about roughly the same things. Secret governmental organizations. That's a stretch for the TVA, but secret governmental organizations that rule the world and rule reality is not all oh, on the whole unique to the SCP Foundation. Um, but also then I'm like, uh, 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 he's definitely, uh, he, he, it's funny that he even knows about the SCP Foundation, to be honest with you. Because I don't talk about it a lot, like in real life, it's not a thing. Anyway, me, when the article <laughs> that seems short doesn't have a 5 million word article hidden under a collapsible at the bottom of the page. This is, I love this. Um, it's something that I've understood for a while and kept an eye on. It's such a great strategy because people, honest to God, and this is a meme that explains it exactly that. Uh, people, honest to God, look at the scroll bar or scroll down to the bottom before they start reading just to see like, what am I getting myself into? I've only got five minutes or I only want to spend five minutes on this. Uh, so they put in a cup. So people, instead of creating these long ass articles, just put like a collapsible in. And then suddenly the articles below that. And it goes from a 750 word article to a 7,500 word. article. <laughs> But sometimes they are just short. Apollyon. I think the name of this one on the on the actual thing was uh, Apollyon is just just spicy Keter, uh, which is funny though not entirely accurate. Apollyon and Keter are not quite the same thing. I've been guilty of saying that Apollyon is. Uh, anytime somebody tells me that the like. <laughs> I did a, uh, a containment classes video a while back, which covered the three main ones and a couple of uh, secondary ones like neutralized and explained. Um, but I didn't cover Apollyon. So every once in a while, there's a comment on that video that says, how come you didn't talk about Apollyon? What does Apollyon mean? Apollyon means you spent too much time thinking about what object class that your uh, object was. That's it. Uh <laughs> But it does have a meaning, and it's different than Keter 2 or Spicy Keter. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, uh, scroll down and hit the subscribe button, and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. I'm tr I've been looking at my metrics and trying to follow what is what does and doesn't help my, uh, my metrics. That being subscriber growth and... Um, and views or just even watch time. And I think part of it is length. Um, they moved recently, well, not recently, but a while back to make it so you could put mid credit ads on eight minute videos. And I, my thinking was I'll just go down to eight minute videos to give people as uh, much content in as short a time as possible. Um, uh, and YouTube won't penalize me for it because, hey, they can still put ads on it. <laughs> That's their thing. They don't really promote stuff as unless they can really make money off of it, which is reasonable. Um, uh, but I, I feel as though, um, despite the fact that they've made that change, eight minute videos don't seem to get quite as much traction as the longer stuff tends to just in general. So I'm doing longer videos, I think now. I think that's the solution. Or I don't a solution. I think that may help. We will see over time. Um, but anyway. Thank you very much for watching. Hit the subscribe button. I'm not asking. Wait, let's let's just try that again. Hit the subscribe button. I'm not asking. Did that work? Do you think that worked? I don't know. We'll see. Which which one did you like? The first one or the second one? I think there was also one earlier. It doesn't matter. And then if you really want to support the channel, head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian. Pledge at any level, like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Thursday. Took me a second to remember what day it was going to be.